Jared Delaney. Wyland, he's been crafted into the side, he does. Yeah, it's too short. Lots of pace on that, just placed away through the offside, down to third man, that's four. This time the short ball works, it's too quick for Delaney. He's just looped back at Wood and he's accepted it. Well done, Luke Wood. Good pace, hitting the deck, skidding onto Delaney, went for the pull shot. Could only hit the sl splice of the bat, loop up in the air. And they say there's no such thing as an easy court and bold. Well, that's nonsense, because this was an absolute dolly. Well done, Luke Wood. Faulkner. Kenar Lewis has muscled that big time. Downtown, huge six. Welcome to the game, Mr. Faulkner. Right in the slot and smash down the ground, way over the boundary. Have a look at this. Brute force. The big man with amazing bat speed, 90 kilometers per hour, 81% shot efficiency. Slow one and does the business. Back of the hand for Faulkner, hits the stumps. We saw this yesterday. We've seen it again today. Faulkner bouncing back after a boundary. Cleverly using all of his experience. This one's out the back of the hand. There you go. Let's see, does it turn back in? Just beasting for pace. That's when takes his eye off the ball. And those zinger bales light up for everyone to see. Faulkner over the moon. Kenar Lewis goes for seven. Northern Warriors 13 for two. Shovel leg side. He's timed it well. And gets four for it. Yeah, picks the gap. Umpire Alex Wharf signals the four. Low again, the outside edge, that'll go to the fence. Moin Ali, back-to-back -back boundaries. Karim Jan has been edged away, straight to third man for four. A fourth pace outside off. Pulled away leg side and it's timed that beautifully. And again, three and three. Straying in line and direction. So Shaw, that's in the air, this should be out. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, no. How has he dropped that? Hassan Khalid. Well, short. Marinelli goes for the, the swat straight up in the air. Short ball, thumped leg side. This is how you do it. Howell takes the catch. Marinelli dismissed. On the deep square leg boundary. Actually got a good bit of that, Moen Ali. Very fine catch from Benny Howe, running to his left. Benny Howe, goes short and been thumped out of the ground. Well, he's just taken a good catch. And then he comes into bowl, hoping to carry on the good work. But a short one doesn't cut it to Robman Pout, not at 65 miles an hour, and that's gone miles. Down leg side, that'll race away. Ten of the first two. Ah! Ah! Heel, maybe just down leg, but the the idea was to flip this away over fine leg. It's on the ground with power and goes all the way. Rubman Paul is a no-nonsense player in T10. Gets another six. Jeez, look at that power. Slower ball, but in the slot. And you don't pull slot balls to that man, Powell. Up and over. Lut Squarer goes all the way for six. 39 sixes now in his T10 career.
Right up there with the best, Rubman Park. Well, that is what you call Calypso cricket. Darren Ganga, you've got a smile in your face. That is West Indian cricket at its best. Clipped away. And another. That's spicy from Robman Paul. Just a little bit of whippage. Yeah, a little bit obvious from Howell. You can spot that slow ball a mile off, I think, Powell. And he was hanging back, waiting for that to bounce up. So he could swat it away over the leg side from Ross Whiteley. Cost them the game. But Rodman Paul, he's got other plans. Paul has a good chance of climbing. Through the offside, pierces the gap. Samit Patel was looking for that, and his captain shows him how to do it. Goes through. Johnson Charles reacted quite late. He was blinded. Went through the legs of Robman Paul. Goes downtown. Straight as a die. Travels quickly across the ground. That will do his confidence a whole lot of good. That's a rare real moment, surely you want to keep this one. Look at that ball go. I think they're both very pleased out there in the middle. Powell, boy, he's on fire. Sounded sweet. Travels the distance all the way for a sugary six. Well, we said he's looking to capitalize on these last four deliveries. Managed to get 10 of two. With that absolute monster. This gives himself a little bit of room getting deep into the crease to get under the ball. Didn't have to do a lot because it was a full toss. It was served up nicely. Doesn't get it right. Should be a wicket for Udana. Yep, he gets a consolation wicket after the damage is done. Northern Warriors just over par, 122 for four. Yeah, unfortunately, just got underneath it, lost his shape and overbalanced as he struck it. Boundary. For a moment, you felt that the fielder will get around. Not a good day in the field. Hassan Khaled running around, couldn't get there. And just enough bat from this one, Samit Patel. 19 off the last over. Samit Patel, you beauty. What a way to finish the innings off. He'll be happy with that. Finally, a bit of fall from the young man. He's chuffed a bit as he walks off into the pavilion. Northern Warriors move on to 126 for four, and that partnership in the middle. Great skills shown by James Faulkner. Not easy to be a bowler in this format. Well, halfway stage of this game. Are we in through? Too wide down the leg side. Imran Tahir wouldn't be proud of that delivery. There you go, right on cue. You've got to have confidence. And he's just going a long hop into the pads to his eye. 
who says, look, I'm not going to miss out on that. He was waiting for it. The wrong on just angled across the lefty. Up, up, up. And wicket. Well, it works. Works for Samit Patel. Works for the Warriors. Now, Fletch. Not tonight. It's hit him high on the blade. He's decided to get the dancing shoes on. And he's uh, come second big time. Samit Patel with a bit of flight. Swept away. Fine looking shot. Didn't try to hit it too hard. It was about the placement. Take PS off and try to turn it. Flat and straight. Gets the treatment. That's a sixer. Will Jacks, uh, he's a fiery type batsman. Little swivel. Yeah, once again, just drags this down now and he's uh, trying to close down the angle on Will Jacks given what had happened just previously with a delivery before. Yeah, you have to be slightly out, just slightly off with your length and see you later. Nice hand. Nice hand. Not good enough to stop the boundary. Well, it started off rather swimmingly with the uh, exit of uh, Andre Fletcher. Here's the little arm ball. It's on our stump. Lovely late wrists here from Will Jacks. React like this when it's in the slot. Goes all the way for six. Hundredth maximum of T10 in season five. Enjoying it here in the stands, the fans. This one wasn't far away from the dugout. Seen up, bat up, fatted. Oh. Not a lot of follow through in that swing. Chopped on. That's the extreme that this uh, format brings. He was struck for six. Oh, he's gotten his man. So often the case, the retort of the bowler coming back and getting revenge on the batter. Just smashed downtown for six. Wider one, Fuller. He's opened himself right up here as Zizai, but it's bye-bye to him. He's got to go back to the dugout. Ah! Oh, that's close. That's gone. That's a Dream 11 game-changing moment. The big wicket, the prize wicket of Faf Duplessis. Tears his gloves off in disgust. This Faf Duplessis. He's gone back. It's the Google. And bang, it is going to crash into off stump, probably middle and off. Celebration City here. Barimran Tahir. Loves the ponytail. Last ball of the over. Gone for the big one. Sounded good. And sails away for six. 44 for three. Now the Mutahir, he decided to go for a flatter one. He pushed it through quickly and it's costing. Shot efficiency, 87%. Great bat speed, hence the distance. Speaking of good heads on shoulders, obviously you played a lot of international <laughs> cricket. You've been a coach all over the world. There's a big six. That's a bit more like it. That's that's a shot there. there the like Afghanistan it. boys, they're going off. They're going oh, off tonight. Absolutely. But and obviously they play a lot of cricket here too, just on that, mm. so they'd be very familiar with the conditions. Yeah, correct. And it's almost a home game. They played a few, as you say, play a lot of games out here, but um, in these conditions back home uh, or wherever they play their cricket, in northern India as well, it's pretty similar. Absolutely. So uh, just back on that, you played a lot of international cricket. You've coached all over the world. We've now thrown you into T10 format. <laughs> How are you coping with that? And I yeah. suppose what's the big um, You've got to be up to speed with everything. Uh, the, the information that we, we have got um, 
Oh, it's another wicket. The information we've got uh, given to us, um, we've had to utilise it very quickly and um, it's, it's been exciting, that's for sure. Oh, best of luck. Fingers crossed to get a lot across the line today. Yeah, cheers, Aaron. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Always nice hearing from a coach. Uh, not a good sight for Stuart Law, Riyad Emirates getting a wicket. Karim Janat not middling and a good reaction from the wicket keeper. Innovation executed really well to pick up a boundary to end the over after early success runs flowing. 58 for four. Once again, getting the length there, right, Emery. He'll be a little uh, frustrated with himself. Oh, and that's hit hard. Has it gone high enough? I don't think it has. He's caught a deep mid wicket. In round to here in the deep. The old man runs to his left, takes a good catch. And it goes from bad to worse for the Tigers. Yeah, JC, just been talking you up again. There's such a crucial moment in this match. He's coming at number six. They needed him here, Johnson Charles, with the Tigers. And as uh, Coach Stuart Law was saying, things have been going OK. They just need to stitch a couple of good bits of cricket together. Well, that's not one of them. Someone's got to put some sort of innings together. Because it's all about that. T10, T20. Batters, particularly if you're not getting big scores or chasing a total down, you really do feel under the pump. Oh, could that man be Benny Howe? Flicks his first ball, down to fine leg for four. The man inside the circle. There's your bat speed, 49. Friday. Oh, that's well played. Will Jacks helping it around the corner. It's going to go all the way. Sparing dive. Oh, this one's going to go away for four. Only the two men out. David Wicket can't get round. Mm. Oh, nicely played. Well, Daryl went past cover. Away for four more. It's a good use of the floating power play over. It's a good wrench back the Tigers back into this game. Well, you're up against one of the greats in the modern game of T20 or white ball cricket, Chris Jordan. So, you've got Jordan to bowl the strong power play. Oh, what a shot! Benny Howell steps across, flicks it away to the leg side, goes all the way for six. Wow. Don't often see Chris Jordan disappearing like this. In fact, it was this World Cup semi-final against New Zealand. 23 off and over, I think Jimmy Neesham got stuck into him. Now it's Benny Howe here in T10. Oh, 92%, you better believe it. Well, that 92%, that's your timing. Straight off the middle, just helped it out. Helped it on its way, ramped it. Oh, and that's going to be four as well. Will Jacks reaches it outside the offstop, opens the blade, one bounce for four. This one's big, it's over the offside, is it going to go all the way? It is! The Bangla Tigers are starting to believe this is doable here. Coach Paul Nixon getting very excited in the dugout. Will Jacks moves on to 36 with this one. Now he's decided to go slower ball, back of the hand after being into the surface with the previous one and that's the thing just mention don't give any width otherwise you're likely to go the journey and suddenly there is that belief again for the batting side this one slash wide as well it's going to be another boundary they're coming thick and fast now the hundred up five down 15 balls to go 27 required well, wow, playing a little bit of follow the fielder because the fielder had just been moved a lot straighter. Needed to be squarer. Went Yorker, missed the mark. Oh, this one snicks away. It's going to go for four. 
It's going to be four more, smashed away on the offside. That takes Will Jacks to a brilliant... Smashed, has he got enough of it? No, long off, dives in, dive, drops the catch. Brilliant effort from Chris Jordan. One of the best pairs of hands in world cricket. Oh, and now there's an overthrow. Oh, there's four overthrows. Nightmare. Northern Warriors. It all goes to pot. Chris Jordan was the man who could have been backing up, but he went for the catch. Here we go. Jogging through. There's the drop catch. Then they come back. There's two. And then there's the throw. Swanee, what do you reckon it is? I take it all back, Danny. That's a seven. I didn't realise they'd come back for the second. But that's definitely a seven. I take it all back. It's a word that I say very rarely, Danny, but I'm saying it now. Sorry, mate. And had, and that's how, a seven. How many run? Seven. Seven. And this one's over the offside, I think it's going all the way, it is! What a shot to tie the scores! Billy Taylor raises his arms, magnificent Jax. Yeah, scores level. And Will Jax, unstoppable here on a super Sunday evening. Crowd disappearing in their drives, they know it's all over. And the Tigers are going to register their first points here in Season 5 of the Abu Dhabi T10. Big hits. And that's the game. Benny Howe smashing it away for four on the offside. Ten. Very comfortable indeed. And they get their first points here in Season 5. Do it with five wickets in the bank and five balls to spare for the Bundler Tigers. So there we go. Bangla Tigers chasing 127 to win. Have done it in fine fashion. Lost wickets early. Fletcher and Duplessis, the big guns.